Hello, everybody. Hope you had a good spring break. Um, I guess couldn't really do a whole lot, or at least if you were being responsible, you weren't doing a whole lot. You were just sitting around playing tiddlywinks. Mm. Unfortunately, though, we have to jump right back into uh, this NTI stuff. So I'm going to start uh, today with just some notes. <coughs> You know, just sort of the, the exact same thing, well, not content-wise, but the same process that we've been doing. You'll have a notes, a worksheet, notes, a worksheet, and then a quiz combining the two lessons. That's how we're going to do this from here on out, unless someone else tells me to do it differently. But <clears throat> So, let's just uh, um, fill along with these on your Google Doc and just fill in the blank with what I put on here um, and that'll be your grade for today so let's just start with the bell ringer we have we have this circle and you can see all these different points in the circle you have a point a is at the very center so a is at the center of the circle and then you have G H B C D E and F these are all points on the circle so part a says if the measure if the measure of angle G B F so you start at G go to B, and then finish at F. So G, B, F, that's going to be this angle right here. If G, B, F is 17 degrees, so if this angle right here is 17 degrees, name two other angles that have the same measure. Okay. So if you notice, you have points G and F down here. Here is the minor arc between G and F, and then here is the major arc. Of, uh, of the circle between G and F. If G and F are going to be these fixed points, the third point anywhere on this major arc is going to be is going to form the same angle. So for example, what that means is GBF is going to be the exact same angle measure as GHF. So I'll just say, for example, angle GHF. And on your Google Doc, guys, I know it might be a little bit hard to find the angle button. If you just want to put GHF, I'll take it. So angle GHF, well, GBF has the same measure as GHF, GCF, GDF, and GEF. So if you have these two fixed points here, so if you have G and F, and you just take this one point and you move it all. So like if you picture if you picture me having this this angle formed by these three points with my three fingers, if I move this third point anywhere along this major arc between G and F, it's going to be the exact same angle measure. That's why any one of these angles will work as long as G and F are on the outside. So angle GHF, angle G, and I'll just say I'll say GDF. These are all seven, 17 degrees, 17 degrees, 17, 17, 17. Okay. What is the measure of angle GAF? So GAF. <clears throat> okay. Well, if you remember back from a couple lessons ago, GAF is my central angle because A is the center of the circle. My central angle is going to be two times larger than my inscribed angle. Well, GDF or GBF or I guess these are mainly the, the, the only two that go through A. Yeah, so GBF and GDF, really all of these are going to be half the size of my central angle because again the central angle is twice as large as my you mean you, you can kind of look at it too so like GCF that's a really kind of a, a acute sharp small angle and you can see that this angle is definitely wider than this angle so this is going to be larger if this is 17 degrees so if GCF or BF or DF or if these are 17 degrees if the inscribed angle is 17 degrees, then then the central angle, GAF, so the measure of angle GAF is going to be 17 degrees times 2, which is going to make 
angle G A F. So this guy right here, that's going to be 34 degrees. 17 times two. So part C, what is the measure of angle B A D? B A D. So B A D. What's the measure of this angle? Well, that's going to be measure of angle B A D is going to equal 34 degrees because, and this is a definition from a long time ago, these two angles right here, you look something, or it looks something like this. You have from B to F doing that, and then from D to G doing this. What are these two angles called? When they're on the up opposite sides of this X, they're vertical angles. Vertical angles are equal. That's why BAD, this one, is going to be 34 because that one is 34.